This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a realistic rainbow on pretty much any scenery. So if we have a look here at our image, uh, what we want to do here is just create an, a, a nice rainbow effect here. It'll seem like it's part of the, the image, the rainbow was there when you took it, let's say. So uh, the first thing that we need to do here is uh, actually to create that rainbow, we need an image that is much bigger than the image that we're working on here. Pretty much any image size that you have, you're going to need an image much greater to create that rainbow. Um, and then we'll place it into the photo here. I'll just explain to you why. I'll just show you um, how that works. So for example, our image here, if we just look at image and image size, is about 800 pixels wide. So I'll create one that's around twice as big, so let's say 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels, so it's a much bigger image area. And um, I'm going to then go to the gradient tool, and with the gradient here, I'm just going to select this gradient here that goes from transparent, and it has the rainbow gradient, and then goes to transparent again, which is different from this um, gradient here. So we'll select that. And now what we need to do is uh, on a separate layer here, so we're just going to click on the new layer icon here. We're going to um, click, shift, right, and drag from the bottom up to about here. We just need a nice little um, effect here going off the rainbow. And now we're going to go ahead and go to filter, distort, and polar coordinates. What this will allow us to do, and I'll just zoom out here, is it'll sort of, it'll just round, make that, you know, the, the gradient that we had round here so that you can see if you chop off half of it, you have that rainbow effect. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see why it is that we uh, actually used an image that was much larger, is that if we bring over this layer here into our new image, you can see that you'll have the, the, the rainbow will be of an appropriate size to the image because the circle that of the rainbow that is created is much smaller than the image itself. That's why we use the bigger image. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select all, go to edit, copy. And now I'll just go in and go to our previous um, image here, create a new layer and paste that in there. So we have that layer of the uh, rainbow pasted into our separate layer, which we can now move around and uh, adjust the size as well. So this is, I'm thinking this is a bit big, so we can always do a control and T to resize the, the rainbow. And then we can distort the rainbow if we wanted to make it wider, just distort it on its size, sides, for example. And I'm pretty happy with it being over here, I think. So I'll just go ahead and click enter. And here we are with our rainbow. So what we need to do now is just create a layer mask. And now we're just going to create an effect so that it seems like the the clouds are coming through parts of the rainbow here and it's not, you know, perfectly visible at all aspects here. So what we need to do is with that uh, layer mask created and selected, we're going to go to filter. We're going to show all items here if you don't have this. We're going to go to render and clouds. So filter, render and clouds. And this will just automatically create sort of like a cloud effect over our uh, layer mask. So like I said, so that different parts of it are being masked out a little bit here and there. Okay. The other part, the other uh, step to this is uh, to just lop off the bottom part here of the, the rainbow. That doesn't make sense being. So what we need to do is just go ahead and uh, with our brush, opacity at 100% and a, roughly a big size here. We want to just uh, lop off with black. Um, the the rainbow and you don't want to get too close to the to the edge here of uh, where the the skyline meets here so uh, so we just want to leave it to around there and now with an opacity of uh, less of let's say around 50 percent and a smaller brush we're going to then uh, just click and click just to um, gradate that a uh, little bit more specifically uh, you can even decrease the opacity a bit more if you find that you're uh, um, not having good enough effect because as you know rainbows they don't just you know finish um, at the at the horizon they just kind of just uh, tend to just disappear slowly so we're just going to have that effect around here okay and the other thing we want to do now is uh, change the uh, the blend mode of this rainbow here we want to set that to screen right and then we want to change the opacity of this 
to uh, around 25%. Now you'll find that it, it depends on the image that uh, that you're using. For example, you can use uh, you can bring the um, the effect of the rainbow more, if you like, um, by just uh, bringing in that opacity, right? So at the moment we have 26%. I can press 3 on my number keypad to bring it to 30, 40, 50. So it's just a matter of you just playing around. Obviously, you want to make it as realistic as possible. So, for example, here, this is really too too illuminated. So we're just going to bring that down somewhere around 25, 30%. You just want to make it kind of faint and, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't show up with that much opacity. The other thing you might want to think about, depending on which image you're using, is um, if it's if the rainbow's going over anything uh, obvious. So, for example, if the rainbow here were going over the uh, this this house here, then we have to take off a bit of uh, the rainbow that goes over the house, right? Because the house would be over top of it. Uh, the other thing we might want to do is when it's going over some clouds, for example, here, that it is lighter here than it is where there are no clouds. So, again, to do this, we just make sure that we are in our layer mask, then with a uh, brush of appropriate size, so something about that size, and a really low opacity actually, so we want to bring this down to about 10%. With black, which we'll remove, uh, we want to just sort of just click away and just start making a little bit lighter. And of course, if you make a mistake, you can just switch the colors and uh, put it back in, but we just want to make it a little bit lighter. Um, and you don't have to worry about it being too consistent, because obviously the clouds would be coming in and out, so you just want to uh, make it as realistic as possible. Uh, on the edges here, I'm just going to change the brush size. And there you are. So you have a pretty good um, rainbow effect that you're able to do very quickly in Photoshop using these techniques. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.